Hey, I'm Bishop, and you are not watching Disney Channel. Welcome to another Amphibia Reaction. Uh, last time it was Wednesday, I was a bunch of days late. This time, I've actually got Disney Channel running, and we're gonna watch it live premiere. Which means I won't be able to pause to talk about stuff, so hopefully nothing will happen where I want to pause. This week we have season three, episode eight, Hollywood Hot Pop, and If You Give a Frog a Cookie, I, um, I'm not sure what to expect. Last time, things got, um, serious. So, I'm not sure how serious either one of these will be. The, the titles are really not giving me any hints. The first one I don't think will be serious. Hollywood Hop Hop, they're in Hollywood. So Hop Hop is getting it noticed by some talent scout, probably. This seems like a plot that's been used in a lot of cartoons before. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. If You Give a Frog a Cookie is obviously based on those picture book titles, and I really don't know what the actual episode could be about, but chances are I don't think it's going to be a very serious one, because people are thinking next week is going to be really serious. Next week, of course, is the Christmas special in the finale of season 3A, and people are thinking, oh, that one's going to be like very serious, so I'm not sure. But uh, here's what I am sure of. Considering Amphibia Season 3A is ending next week, and then throughout December we're getting nothing, hopefully in January, maybe we'll get the Owl House Season 2B, or maybe Big City Greens Season 3A. I don't know. Both of those would be very welcome around here. And with that, I don't think I have anything else to say. I just have to wait for the episode to start. <laughs> Hollywood Hot Pop, directed by Roxanne Cole and Kyler Spears. Yep, here's Hollywood, here's a bus, and we're in Chinatown or something? Oh, that's right, that's right, he's like the actor, the theater nerd in the group. They do, I actually forgot about Hot Pop being the actor one. Oh no, Hop, you don't want to get involved in Hollywood. Oh, I am so sorry. Don't worry about oh my word. Quite a while, I think. Yep, there it is. Uh, a couple more miles. And old comers. So I hear. Oh, one of those old people commercials. Oh. Really? Shut up, think what you've heard. Uh, you would think. You would think. Let's hope Mr. X isn't watching old people commercials. Proper Molly McGee, that one. Please tell me old people commercials don't play on every channel. Uh oh. That. Oh no. The camera quality is garbage. No, this is called Refuge. Dun. Oh, of course. You had to know this. You couldn't have been looking down at your cereal during that. What? This is like when Phineas and Ferb make their lemonade stand. Jeez. <laughs> Am I on a t-shirt? 
Oh dear. We better get this IRL. Hot Topic, get on it. How did your number get to him? Oh shit. Well, oh no. Do you have any shoes other than Healy's? Did anyone know about Mr. X returning in this one? This reminds me of the first Ace Attorney game with the, <laughs> the TV studio. See, so, you now here's the, the. As with every episode, we get some. Oh! Suspicion Island! I was gonna say, this is the part of the episode where there's like a lot of action, I never speak, but then the suspicion either came up. In, wait, in the water tower? The, the screen glitched for a second. Do it. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, no. Wait. They're not actually, like... They're not actually, like, fucking up Humphrey, right? Okay. Good. Have we seen the last of Mr. X? Probably get that checked out. Jenny, I'm gonna need some ice cream, girl. This whole experience has taught me that the real power is behind the camera. You don't need that right hand. Post production. Oh. <laughs> that and that nice little callback shoving him out of the thingy. Anyone else gonna watch Christmas again? <laughs> if you give a frog a cookie, directed by Joe Johnston. Are we doing some? We are doing some baking. What? What the? Is this some kind of ritual? Well, if they taste good, keep eating. Oh dear. This seems unhealthy. There it is. Oh my gosh. Strength theory. There are a lot of loose cannons in the scientific community, and I'd like to vet this Dr. Briggs before we meet him. Okay, mm. when you're ready, Dr. Jan. I mean, this is Hollywood after all. All right, kid, back to the tiny village. When we find Just out about Ohms or whatever. Children's Science Museum? I can't believe we'll be going home soon. Maybe. Attack on maybe. I am concerned. Like, I am majorly concerned about seeing Dr. Frakes. Yes, yes she is. I see my concern was well founded. Will you ever figure out stuff that doesn't start with that? Well, 
It can be both. Well, this is fancy pants. No way. We're here. We're ready. The Owl House! <laughs> it's confirmed. They're in the same universe. If they travel to the Boiling Isles in this, I'm going to scream. I swear. If they... No, they can't have been allowed. What is that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I was... I thought they got transported. What in... Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not a biology one class. Dr. Jan, why did you trust this lunatic? Oh yeah, quite a bit of them. Plastic glass. Good choice. No, I hate that. And then she died. And nobody was sad. We can build a portal? Is Dr. Jan... So, like, is Dr. Jan rendered useless now that she directed us to the lunatic? So that was, um, interesting. I didn't expect things to get as serious as they did. Now we've got Miraculous. Specifically the episode Gabriel Agrest. I guess we can watch a little bit of that. Probably not the whole thing. Me like you, yes. Same thing the best. Gabriel and Greg. Encounter last time, didn't you? But there will be some teenagers here, like Chloe and Kagami. Yeah, but only because their parents are members of this club. These club members this are the club. most influential people in Paris. Adrian, can you leave us for a moment? Yes, father. So they can discuss evil. Have you had lunch? No. Thank you. These people do not give me a break to talk. We've decided to ask Mark and Nathaniel for help. If anyone can come up with the perfect plan for you to finally tell Adrian you love him, it's them. What makes them such experts? So they all know about me and how I feel about you know who? Everyone knows that you're crushing on Adrian. Even Adrian? Yes, everyone in Adrian's Paris. Adrian's probably the only one who doesn't know. Of course, otherwise there'd be no story. Yeah, Which we've established this. Because, as you know, they're the experts in romantic comedies. Mark Wright and Nate Drop. And since they succeeded in inventing a love story for Ladybug and Cat Noir in their first comic book, they're sure to think of the... Did they also succeed in inventing a love story for themselves? No, you only need one. This is... This is ridiculous, Chloe. Why were you hiding in the ceiling? Adrian, 
Exactly. You'll never see him again, Chloe. Get out of the ceiling. The knight simply has to go to the vault to stop the evil Chloe from showing the video to the witch at rest. The knight can't get into the vault. The vault is This is the most talking Mark has ever done. The knight is wearing a disguise. The knight can take his place. Oh boy. Quite a look, I must say. Alright, we're done. We're done here. See you in whatever comes next.